Uh, welcome back, and today I am unboxing and just having some first thoughts on the Yehua 939D, I think it is, soldering iron from eBay. It's like 70 bucks, and it comes with spare solder, spare tips, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, this is all it came in, so it's not very padded or anything, but it's from Australia, so it's fine. It's not going to be um, messed around with too much. But um, yeah, there's no padding inside of there, so it's a little bit worrying. And this box is really nice and compact. Just open it, and it comes like this. So you have a user manual. Looks like it's pretty good. Uh, the solder wire, so there's plenty of that. I'm not sure if it's 60-40, like 60%. Lead 40% tin, I think that no 40 60% tin, 40% lead. Sorry, uh, here's the tips cleaner. Sorry, so just to clean your tips, very important. So it's really nice that it comes with all of this. Uh, here's this stand, so it's I can't remember what material it was, but it's different to normal stands because it has some other purpose for that but um yeah it looks pretty nice it's got the sponge which will when i put some water on it it'll definitely um go bigger and that's for cleaning your, your tip as well so I'll try to get it all in shot um the back we got th three spare tips that's so really good for 70 dollars to get three spare tips as well and they look like pretty decent ones there's uh I don't know what that one is, and then there's a sharp kind of pencil one, and then a, f a flat one. I don't know what you call it. And then here's your iron. It's so the Yehua 907F, which is the iron it comes with. So it's compatible with most Yehua soldering irons, I know that for sure. And then nothing else there. No, so the bit station and the power supply should be in here. Yeah. So it's very nice and compact um, packaging, not really wasting too many resources like, let's say, Hobby King does. Just some protective foam, I guess that's for the knob, just like that. Uh, we'll get the box out of shot. Well, it's still in shot, but oh well. So here's the station, this looks really nice, it's quite heavy, but um, and it's quite big compared to the Hacko, my friend has the Hacko. FX8881 and this one's just a lot cheaper looks alright and the build quality feels really nice like I haven't turned it on or anything yet but it just feels like a really nice really nicely built and this feels it's really nice and light it's got grip pads so it's nice and grippy and the iron looks pretty good as well this is, you could probably do some more research on it I didn't really do too much research but um yeah it's got the <laughs> yeah, Yehua sign which is pretty cool um, it's got the stock tip, which is this little pointy one, and I think this is how you replace the tip. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll have to find that out. Surely you know. Yeah, like that. Just accidentally replace the tip, but <laughs> that's pretty easy, and this looks really nice. So, yeah, that's just my unboxing and first thoughts of the year who were... 939D. It's not the 937D, which everyone talks about, which my friends got. It's a 939D because it looks like the Hacko, so that's why I decided to get it. <laughs> and well, it also just looks awesome compared to just the black. So, yeah, I'm really excited. The iron just plugs in there somehow, and then you turn it on, you have adjustable heat, and yeah, it's just really nice. Heats up pretty quickly. I saw my friends. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and future videos of this will certainly be coming out soon. See you next video.